Hello, welcome to Digital Process Automation with SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management. My name is Venugopal Champrakalatil from SAP Cloud Platform Product Management. As we know, we all running processes today in a heterogeneous landscape consists of uh, on-premise cloud system or even third party system evolved over a period of time. And if you look at these various different processes, which are critical for the success of a business, which we are operating in our heterogeneous landscape. And if you look at the world is going towards an integrated digital mode and every customer wish to be part of it, but that's not quite easy, right? If you look at the current status, these processes are pretty complex and if you look at from an end-to-end -end business process perspective, there are still manual activities. If you have manual steps in your processes, naturally that leads to errors, inefficiencies and cost, right? And now today, if you look at SAP Cloud Platform, enabling our customers to fulfill their integration and extension requirements. If you look at SAP Cloud Platform today, we have integration suite, enabling our customers to do integration between applications, both on-premise and cloud, including SAP and non-SAP systems. At the same time, we have the extension requirements across different LOB applications like SuccessFactors or Ariba or Espohana or any other system, again, both in on-premise or cloud. We have an extension suite enabling our customers to fulfill their digit extension requirements. Right. SAP Cloud Platform Extension Suite provides organizations with a holistic set of capabilities that can help them to rapidly build or extend new applications to tackle the challenges of disruption and change. It is built on a flexible, scalable business cloud platform and it's enabling you to provide with enterprise grade capabilities and built-in intelligence technologies like AI bots and it provides best run practices and guidelines for example, Discovery Center, enabling developers to explore, adopt, and implement services step-by-step step with the guidance from development to go live and access to samples and use cases. It is also providing ready-to-use pre-integrated services and apps to jumpstart your extension development. Now, let us have a look at what is SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management. It's a cloud service offering to digitize workflows auto or automate business processes, manage decision logic, and gain end-to-end -end process visibility, and provide a central inbox to manage all your tasks from various different uh, workflow applications across LOB solutions. And of course, we are tightly integrated with the SAP Intelligent Robotic Process Automation and SAP Conversational AI. And let us have a look at the big picture of SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management. What you could see on the left-hand side, the various different business application as, as a customer you are operating in your landscape, including SAP and non-SAP applications. And in SAP Cloud Platform, we have SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management with the core capabilities like workflow, decisions, process visibility, and inbox. These Capabilities are well integrated with both SAP and non-SAP applications using different integration approaches. For example, SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management offers REST-enabled APIs, which we could integrate easily with all these different LOB applications. Or you could also integrate SAP Workflow Management with the other LOB application using intelligent, intelligent robotic process automation. Or if you have integration needs, for example, by consuming an IDOC adapter or an RFC adapter or a SOAP adapter, you could also use SAP Cloud Platform integration. Together with SAP Cloud Platform workflow management integrated with other solutions, like for example, it is tightly integrated with SAP API Business, Process, API Business Hub, and uh, it enables customers to search, import, and uh, deploy workflow content and providing LOB expert process flexibility cockpit so that they can configure and deploy new process variant. And also it is integrated with the other solutions like a Spotlight, Room, Conversational AI, SAP Works on 4HR, and mobile services. Let us have a look at uh, some of the customer use cases. For example, Deliver Hero. 
one of our SAP Innovation Award winner in 2019. They are an S4 HANA customer, but they follow SAP strategy like keep the core clean and build all your extensions in Cloud Platform. Being a volume business, Delivery Hero is operating around 50 plus countries in this world and managing a couple of millions of orders per day and having 300,000 plus restaurants onboarded. And being a volume business, it is pretty important for them to have a to have a consistent digital experience and have transparency on their operations, right? And uh, Delivery Hero decided to use a cloud platform as their innovation platform, and they have built the first use case, which is capital expenditure approval. Being a young company having a aggressive growth plan, they have quite lots of investment happening around the globe today, and they want to have a single solution where they get complete transparency on their capital expenditure approval process but at the same time they would be able to understand why and how a business case is approved for an investment and in the past it was taking uh, at least four to five weeks time to get an approval for a business case before they go for investment and after implementing a cloud platform workflow management based solution they were able to get this approval in a couple of days time Similarly, Danone and another important customer who has adopted Cloud Platform workflow management for their capital expenditure approval process, where they were also able to fulfill some of their key sustainability goals based on each and every investment they do around the globe today. And looking at various different customers implementing Cloud Platform uh, workflow management as part of their capital expenditure requirements, we from SAP has decided to provide a standard live process content package for capital expenditure. And if you look at the complete story of Denon, Denon was able to create or build a single solution for all their capital expenditure requirements. And uh, this enables them to get complete transparency on their end-to-end -end business process and also able to ensure this uh, approval process is uh, able to fulfill all the different KPIs, including the KPIs defined by the LOB, so LOB side. But at the same time, they have a, a corporate policy regarding sustainability goals, and they were able to ensure that each and every investment they are making today, they are able to fulfill their sustainability KPIs, which they are defined at a corporate level. Some of the key capabilities of SAP Cloud Platform workflow management based on a concrete use case, which is capital expenditure approval process. If you look at typically a LOB unit would be raising a request for capital expenditure based on certain uh, business cases. And it has to undergo various different approval depends upon the value or the type of investment. For example, it has to be approved first by the local manager of the respective country or the local CFO, but it could go until the CFO or the CEO or the CEO of the company depends upon the type and value of the investment. Once the approval has done, uh, the LOB unit would be getting the required budget for the investment and post investment, the the enterprise or the company need to make a uh, evaluation of a return on investment. If you look at the different capabilities in SAP Cloud Platform workflow management, it enable our customers to build such critical processes to fulfill their requirements. And together with these different capabilities from SAP, we are also providing live process content, which enable our customers to consume out of the box process content so that they do not need to start or build such processes from scratch. It can do a concrete demo, again, based on capital expenditure approval. As a business user, you can create a request for capital using the applications which we have enabled in your Fiori Launchpad. What you see here is all the standard applications what SAP Cloud Platform workflow management providing out of the box. And let me go to the capital expenditure request uh, where as a business user, I could provide the details of the requester together with the investment details and also the various different sustainability parameters as part of my investment. But look at this uh, use case where if you have quite lots of data coming from different sources, both in structured and unstructured way, so that as a LOB user, you need to enter quite lots of data. 
right? And how can we avoid this and optimize this so that uh, as a business user, you do not need to spend lots of time to enter the required data for a new capital expenditure request. So let us look at how SAP robotic process automation would enable you to simplify this data entry for a new capital expenditure request. Now I am going to start my intelligent robotic process automation bot, which enable me to fulfill all the details regarding a new capital expenditure request. So let me click on fill capital expenditure request and my chatbot would be automatically opening my capital expenditure approval request form. And once the form is available, it is able to do the data entry and it is able to submit a capital expenditure request. That means it is triggering a capital expenditure approval process instance and undergoing various different approval steps. Now, as an approver, I would be able to get all my tasks in my central inbox. So you can see in my my inbox, I'm able to see tasks coming from different applications or different workflow applications and as a LOB user I would be able to consume my task. You can see there is a verification of a high value returns order, approval of returns order and similarly the capital expenditure request raised by different LOB users. So being a uh, approver I could make a decision based on the data what is provided to me and if you look at you can see also the previous approvers who are already approved this so being an approver I can make a decision and uh, say if I approve the request I can submit the request that means it would be the request would be going to the next level for approval and disappear from my inbox but uh, typically if you look at uh, our business users or the approvers are using my inbox for various different approvals but think about you have a digital assistant a digital assistant enabling you to do the approvals, not only doing the workflow approval, but also providing intelligent insight from your different process areas where you are responsible. So let me talk to my chatbot. So let me have a quick hi to my chatbot and my chatbot would be able to understand who am I and what are the different roles I am currently doing and it also offers me certain actions. So let me click to the show my task which provides the set of tasks where I am responsible so that as a LOB user I would be able to get all the different tasks currently in my inbox through my chatbot. Of course I can go through the details of this chatbot and try to understand what is the current status of this uh, task and even I could make a decision by approving this task but typically for a capital expenditure request we do not want to do an approval without seeing the details but since I have a quite lots of uh, task in my inbox I could see there is a problem in my capital expenditure request process area itself so let me try to understand how the different process area is functioning as of today and my chatbot would enable me to provide the set of business process areas where I am responsible as a process owner or a process participant. And let me have a look into the capital expenditure approval process. So the capital expenditure approval process as of today, how it is functioning. It provides me again certain actions like open instances by face or open instances by status. And I can select the open instances by status. That gives me a aggregated view of all my different capital expenditure approval process as of today. As you can see here, most of them are in critical and uh, only one is at risk and three requests are on track. That indicates there is a problem in my process area and my chatbot also providing me a navigation to my process visibility workspace. So this gives me a, a complete view of how my process area is functioning as of today. So if you look at SAP Cloud Platform, uh, workflow management process visibility is a key capability enabling our line of business users or the process owners or the process operators to understand how certain process area is functioning as of today based on real-time data at the same time with meaningful performance indicators defined by the business as you can see most of my uh, capital expenditure requests are in critical status and also you can see from a completion perspective also there are quite lots of requests uh, got completed with the violations and also these requests are grouped based on different phases based on different approval levels and also as a lob expert i could see the total investment based on different investment types and how many reworks are happening at a 
any given point of time and what is the average cycle time and what is the average approval time taken at a local manager level and number of failed requests and open investment by type so similarly you can see there are various different uh, uh, performance indicators available in my dashboard which i can again re reorganize in my fiori launchpad and now let me go to the details of this 157 critical instances of uh, capital expenditure request try to understand what's really going wrong with my process area so this enabled me to get a deeper insight into all these different capital expenditure requests which i could further slice and dice based on different uh, attributes of my capital expenditure request so let me just take one of the uh, request and try to understand what's really going wrong with this instance as you can see the relevant contextual information coming from the process area together with some of the meaningful phases based on the business process and each of these phases are adding certain value to the business as you can see it has completed the local manager approval vice president approval and it is currently at the sustainability director or sustainability manager approval and you could also do a process path analysis to understand what really went wrong so from here you can see now the most of the approvals happened without much delay except there is 11 hours delay happened at the vice president level and there is also a rework happened at this level and later it has gone to the sustainability director that indicates the currently the approval is with the sustainability director and of course it has already exceeded the target date which is uh, Ju July 6 and uh, currently uh, it has taken more than uh, 12 days uh, and the workflow or the capital expenditure request is still in uh, process right. now let me go back to some of the key performance indicators as part of the capital expenditure request as you could see here there are total investment based on uh, different uh, investment types so let me see if there is a huge investment uh, happening on uh, buildings and we can do a deep dive again to those investments for buildings and try to understand how these uh, requests are performing or who created this request and for what reason etc again i can do a deep dive into this individual capital expenditure request and understand when this request has created who has created request and also i could understand from a process path perspective how this request has undergone various different approvals or what are the different approvers taking part as part of this capital expenditure now you can see how we create a process visibility scenario so let us click the configure scenarios enable me as a LOB expert to create a new process visibility scenario in process visibility we build a business scenario which consists of many different processes executed in different transaction system so if you look at the capital expenditure approval scenario which is a, a workflow based business scenario which enable me to import all the different workflows which I have deployed into my cloud platform workflow since we are providing out-of-the-box process visibility for cloud platform workflow which enable me as a LOB user to understand or to import all the different workflows which are deployed into my cloud platform account similarly as a LOB expert you could define visibility scenarios for processes which are running in other transactional systems like s hana or Ariba or success factors using the concept observed processes once you import your workflow into process visibility you would be able to see all the different transactional events coming from my workflow together with the meaningful context data in order to define various different performance indicators and if you have multiple processes as part of a business scenario you could define a correlation between these processes of course these processes might be running in different transaction system but from a business point of view this is an end-to-end -end business process and they want to gain visibility on these processes and after that you could define meaningful phases from an LOB point of view even though you have different transactional activity happening within a phase but from an LOB point of view at what point of a phase starts and what point of a phase end which add value to your business and later you could also define the different state of a process together with possible target of course you can define a dynamic target as a process completion deadline or you can provide a constant deadline together with a threshold and apart from that you can see there are different attributes provided as a standard attributes together with the application specific attributes coming from the workflow and you could also define custom attributes here and 
if you want to define actions uh, for example if you see certain problems or if you see certain uh, opportunities in your process area how do you immediately react either by the system or by as a user and if you want to have a navigational action to your transaction system so the concept of action enabling you to create new actions which enable you to define uh, meaningful actions either as navigational action or transaction action in your process visibility scenario and last but not least you could also see the various performance indicators offered out of the box together with some of the new performance indicators defined specifically for this scenario sir for example if you look at the open investment by type so as an lob expert you can uh, configure these performance indicators based on various different representation and also various different measures and dimensions available similarly if you look at the approved investment by month again you can see the representation is a line chart and it is based on the measure total cost of investment and the dimension is month together with you could also define additional filters so that you would be able to to get more fine granular performance indicators based on the business data which is available. SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management offers live process content enable an LOB expert to discover, configure and deploy different process variants based on different business scenarios. Let me go to process flexibility cockpit enabling an LOB expert to discover content packages from different LOB solutions of SAP together with partner content. As you could see here, there are many different live process content packages. Some of them are already imported and some of them are not yet uh, imported into your workspace. So as an LOB expert, you would be able to go to this different content package and you could also understand the various different artifacts which are part of this content package and try to understand whether this content package would fulfill your requirements. Once you import a content package to your workspace uh, the process flexibility cockpit enable you to configure and create new variants of a business process area so let us take a new business process area which is purchase requisition approval and release so as a procurement expert i would be able to go to my process flexibility cockpit which gives me uh, insight into all the different process variants which I have deployed into my transaction system which are in status active together with the decisions which are part of this business process and it is also giving me an aggregated view of all my purchase requisition as of today together with access to my process visibility uh, scenario editor and let me go to the process variants so as an lob expert i can see the different process variants currently i have deployed and of course i can create a new process variant or modify an existing process variant and deploy this again into my transactional system so let us take uh, uh, the purchase requisition for new for finished goods so this is already a pre configured uh, uh, process variant deployed in my transactional system and depends on the uh, new requirements, how can an LOB expert would be able to flexibly configure this system? So think about uh, as an LOB expert, you need to have an additional approval depends on or due, due to the current uh, uh, COVID situation where you want to have a quality check before you submit any purchase requisition to the respective cost center owner. So let me add an additional approval step to an existing process where the editor enabled me to add an additional approval step. And let me consider this as the quality check. So uh, through the procurement office, I can do a quality check before I do any approval through the cost center owner or through the global procurement office. So this is enabling a, an LOB expert to quickly change existing processes or create new variants of an existing uh, process template and immediately they could save and activate this process variant. So what does it mean? It is generating a new workflow and deploying into your cloud platform account based on the new change what as an LOB expert I have made into this process area. Now let us go back to the process flexibility cockpit and see the other different uh, capabilities offered in this cockpit. So if you can see there are various different decisions which enable an LOB expert to flexibly configure these decisions so that these decisions are influencing the underlying process. So for example you can see the policies which are implemented as part of this decision which is a determined process variant and you can see the underly underlying decision table which is implemented as part of this decision 
and you can see in the decision table each and every approval request for a purchase requisition line item is determined based on the requisition date, based on the document type, the total value, purchasing organization, purchasing group, plant, material group, and currency. Based on that, it is picking up a specific workflow definition or a variant which is deployed into your cloud platform account. So this enable an LOB expert to gain much more flexibility in terms of selecting the right workflow template as part of approval of a purchase requisition line item. So now let me go back to the other different decisions which we have configured in the process flexibility cockpit here. So together with you can also determine an approver for a specific approval step using a decision table. So let me go to the decision table and you can see the various approvers of a purchase requisition approval process is determined using different attributes from each and every line item like the purchasing group, purchasing organization, type, plant, material group, value, etc. And based on that, the right set of approvers are determined and provided back to the process. And based on this, the individual approvers are assigned to your process area and the respective approvals are happening. But think about another use case where you want to validate each and every line item before it send it for an approval. So we are providing a simple validation logic so that as a customer, you can implement additional validation logic for each and every attribute or the relevant attributes requiring for validation. For example, the company code or the payment terms or the tax code. If you want to validate this attribute, you can implement simple text rule as part of your decision and you could deploy into your cloud platform account. Let us take a very simple example of validating the purchasing organization of a line item. So what you could see here is we are making a validation whether a purchasing organization is available in a line item. If the purchasing organization is missing, we are creating an exception and this would be passed back to the requester or buyer so that the buyer would be able to correct and update the a request for line item and submit it back for approval. Now let us look into the process visibility scenario. So the process visibility scenario gives me an aggregated view how my purchase requisition approval process area is functioning as of today. So I can directly do a deep dive into my process visibility workspace which enabled me as an LOB expert to understand how purchase requisition approval process is functioning as of today. So all, as you could see, all my requests are grouped based on their performance, also based on you know the various different uh, uh, phases, together with some of the meaningful or critical performance indicators enable me as an LOB expert to understand how is the purchasing area functioning as of today from a requisition and approval point of view, and how much in purchasing we are doing based on purchasing organization or material group or purchasing group or you also understand what is the average approval time or what is the total cycle time taken by uh, different purchase requisition approvals or it could be also the cycle time taken by the respective steps in my process area. So let us have a deep dive into this uh, uh, individual purchase requisition and you can see how this individual purchase requisition, why they are in a critical state and without uh, uh, approvals. So you can deep dive into one of the requests or you can further slice and dice this data. And what you see here is the data related to a purchase requisition. And together with you have the process path which shows that the validation has happened immediately, but the cost center has or the cost center owner has not yet approved your purchase requisition. SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management enable developers to build workflows, process steps, and process variant using SAP Business Application Studio. Let us have a look at the purchase requisition approval scenario and how a developer would be able to create an approval step. So as you know, an approval step first need to determine what is a source of approvers or the agent determination strategy. A determined agent determination strategy and later determine or get the respective approvers from an external system or using a business rule. And once you have the required approver, it is going to the next step where notifying the approver and also setting certain deadlines so that if the approver has not completed the task, you could send an escalation email. Post approval, based on the decision of the approver, if it is approved, it goes to the next step in the process or if it is rejected it inform the buyer or the requester so that the buyer would be able to take the appropriate action either by deleting the line items 
or update the line items and send it back for approval. So this approval step is implemented using Cloud Platform workflow and as a developer you could uh, deploy this process step so that later an NLOB expert would be able to configure and deploy such approval step as part of their process variant similarly as part of a releasing of a line item certain steps has to be implemented by the developer again for validation of the line item you need to implement certain uh, steps for example each and every line item would be validated using a business rule and if the result is success it goes to the approval step or if it is failed it will notify the requester and the requester need to update the line item and submit it back for validation and approval so once you have completed modeling workflow step you would be creating a process template by consuming the different process steps and at the process step level you define a constraint for example the approvals can happen more than uh, or zero to n that means you can have more number of or many number of approval steps in a process but releasing of a line item could happen only once that's why the constraint is one to one and the validation is optional step but it can happen maximum once that's why the constraint is zero to one together with these uh, process steps we also enable our developers to provide uh, step level attributes which can be configured by an lob expert in the process variant editor and we are also providing or the developer could also model process attribute which enable uh, an LOB expert to see these attributes in process visibility workspace. So the key takeaways from today's session are SAP Cloud Platform Workflow Management provides faster time to value with lower total cost of implementation and increased real-time flexibility on live business processes, increased level and quality of digital process automation with integrated workflows, business rules and Bots. Improved business process experiences help business users to make smarter decisions, proactively identify bottlenecks, and recommend actions. Thank you for listening.